please get the basket and come before. If you know about the team, come before. In Jesus' name. This morning, before we go through the collection, our offering, we'll ask our priest to pray for this. Praise and worship and also the offering. In Jesus' name. Amen. In Jesus' mighty name. Amen. Let us come. Oh, Lord, Heavenly Father, we say thank you this time. Father, we say thank you for this great opportunity. Father, as we are now in the name of God, Father, you may not pass it on the Lord. We say thank you for the answer to this. Father, we say thank you. We thank you for everything that we have. This is our great time. This is our great time. In Jesus' name, we pray. In Jesus' name, we pray.
Amen, so yeah. People have to bow down and worship him. King of England is a part to himself that he was now a God for the land of Babylon. And his people should bow down and worship him. The Bible said, King of England is a made an image of gold. And that image was 90 feet high and 9 feet wide. And he set it up on the plain of Dura in the province of Babylon. He set it way up. Way up. That everybody from the north to the south, from the east to the west, we see this image. And then we all bow down to this image. Amen. I want to believe that image was an image of King Nebuchadnezzar. He made himself in an image that everybody would bow and worship him. Bible said King Nebuchadnezzar gave an order that passed through the land. That when the time that he has appointed arrived, that be you men, be you women, be you child, everybody that lives in the land of Babylon should go down and bow down before that image and worship it. You all know the story. The Bible had me to understand that there were three boys that they arrested from Israel. They were called Meshach, Abednego, and Shepherd. When they arrested these three boys, the Bible said he changed these boys' names to his own God's name. So if Abednego was Abednego, he called Abednego the Shepherd, which means some of his gods that he used to worship in the land of Babylon. We understood from this text that he said, once these three boys refuse to bow down to worship his God, he ordered that they should be cast into the foot, into the furnace of fire. Amen. And there we saw the great deliverance of God. For God was among these three boys that they were not born to death. But God was with these three boys that they were not shaken to death. Not even a single hair on their head was born. God protected them and delivered them. But there was a spirit inside King Nebuchadnezzar. One spirit. The spirit of pride. He stood against God. He punished the children of God. They destroy God's work. He come against God. He challenged God. They want to be equal with God. He does not want to listen to God. He does not want to take what God told him to do. He himself is God that we tell people to do. The Bible helped me to understand that we should not worship any other God besides the God that created the heavens and the earth. But King Nebuchadnezzar, he built an image of God for himself and asked all the people of the land to worship that image, to bow down in that another image, to reverence that image, to take that image to be their God, to kneel down for that image, to set the face of that image. The image was in his likeness, which indicated that people of his nation should worship him to worship King Nebuchadnezzar, to go down and worship him. He said he was God. This means he took the place of God. This means he shared the glory of God. In short, he called himself as God. Amen. 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 He called himself as God. Now, there is nothing that can make you to be equal with people except pride. It is pride. It is pride. 
that is a cause of you challenging somebody. It is pride that is a cause of you rejecting and disregarding somebody. Not us, but pride. Whenever we have pride, or whenever we have a pride spirit, or whenever we are proud, we have the following thinking or the following habit in our lives. Every time you are proud, every time the spirit of pride enters your life, this is the way you will be behaving. Number one, we take ourselves more important than anyone. When pride gets into your life, you take yourself very important than anybody. Nobody is important except you. Nobody can talk well except you. Nobody can speak well except you. Nobody can sing well except you. Nobody can play instrument well except you. Nobody can pray well except you. Nobody can dress well except you. When pride enters your life, you start to take yourself very important, very necessary, than anybody, that nobody is important or equal to you. Amen, somebody. Amen, Amen somebody. Amen. We feel we are right in all we do. When pride enters your life, you will hate people who instruct you. When pride is in your life, you will not like anybody to correct you. You are right in everything you say. You are right in everything you do. You are right in every feeling you have. When pride enters our life, we don't consider other people to be right. That's the time we even ignore advice. When people even are talking for us, we see that they are talking against us. When we see people, they are helping us. We see that these people are against us. We no longer take instructions. We are not teachable. We cannot accept teaching. We cannot accept correction. The Bible told me in Proverbs that if I want to know somebody is proud, rebuke him publicly. Whenever you want to know somebody is proud, rebuke the person publicly. He won't take it. He will send it back to you. He won't take it. He will disregard you. He won't take it. He will ignore you. Whenever you have proud spirit inside you, you will not accept that you are wrong. You will always think you are right. Amen. Amen. Yeah. We see that we know everything. Everyone that is proud feels that he knows everything. Feels that he can do anything by himself. Feels that he can go anywhere and nothing can happen to him. He feels he knows folk. He feels he knows English. He feels he knows the Bible. He feels he knows God. He feels he knows all the wisdom in the world. He does not need anybody to teach him. Because what pride spirit has entered his life. Amen. 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 We will not accept instructions or correction. No more. Nobody will teach me. I can teach myself. Nobody must correct me. I am right. What I did is all right. I don't need correction. Nobody must talk to me. Some even went go into extensive life. Or they all come down. And I'll see him. He talk to me before I listen. Have you not heard people say that? Mm -hmm. When people make power, in their married home, you go talk to them. They will not consider you as a human being, as somebody that God said. They will say one thing, God come down. Before ever I can talk. And some of them even can end up saying that even God come down. Mm -hmm. This one I will not change. This decision I have made. I will go ahead. You know what is talking in that person? He is not hurt. He is, it is not because somebody hurt him. It's because there is a proud spirit living inside him. Mm -hmm. So he feels he knows all things. He feels he is more important than anybody. He feels he does not, he will not listen to anybody's advice. He will make 
and serve the glory God. Proud spirit. They make themselves equal with God. Equal with God. I have seen so many pastors when they are preaching the gospel. Mm -hmm. They say miracle. They are walking on top of human beings. Walking on top of human beings. Mm -hmm. They say if I step on you, you will receive anointing from God. That is a lie. That is a proud spirit. That is not a spirit of God. The Bible said the fruit of the spirit is gentleness. The fruit of the spirit is submission. The fruit of the spirit is kindness. The fruit of the spirit is joy. The fruit of the spirit is long suffering. The fruit of the spirit is not stepping on top of people's head. That is not the fruit of the spirit. God does not want to jam people, to die people, to humiliate people, to disgrace people. That is not in the will of God. Mm -hmm. Amen. Amen. Yes, people. I want to tell you that only God is perfect. I want to tell you that only God is perfect. Mm -hmm. Only God is all knowing. There is nobody that knows everything in this world. God is the only one that knows all things. Amen. God is the only one that is very important. Amen. Nobody is important. Amen. Nobody can be equal with God. Amen. Nobody can share the glory of God. Therefore, if you are proud with people, you can also be proud with God. Amen. If you can stand against people, mm -hmm. you can stand against God. Yeah. If you can challenge people, mm -hmm. you can challenge God. Mm -hmm. So, you have to humble people. Mm -hmm. You have to submit yourself to people. Mm -hmm. Then you will have all glory, all strength, all passion. All likeness to be submissive to God. Kila Veganiza, he challenged God. Kila Veganiza, he stood against God. Kila Veganiza, he said people should worship him. At any time we challenge, at any time we have the spirit of crowd, we need people to praise us, we need people to, to, to worship us, we want people to be submitted to us, but we will not want to submit to others. Amen. 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 Will you watch it? The three Hebrew boys that came, that went as slaves, that he captured as slaves from Israel. And he carried them to Babylon. The woman they reached, he changed their names. How can you change people's names beyond their will? They are not willing to change people's names beyond their will. Just because the people have godly names. Just because Abednego was a godly name. Just because Shadrach was a godly name. Just because these names were godly names. So he changed their names. Belshazzar, Abednego, Shadrach. These were gods of Abednego. So he changed their name. All of them was gone to stand against God. To tell God that you are nothing. To tell God that you are nobody. I own people. People are supposed to be for me. Mm -hmm. I made human beings. They are supposed to worship me. Mm -hmm. They are supposed to bow down for me. I can answer to their prayer. Yes. When they ask me how we came to their lives. He persecuted the, the children of God. He put God to shame. This place, King of it, placed the three Hebrew boys in the furnace of fire because they didn't or they did not worship him. Because they didn't bow down before him. Because they refused, they reject to bow down to his golden image. So he said, the only thing I can tell you that I am God. The only thing to tell you that I am God mm -hmm. is when I punish you. Somebody clap your hand for Jesus. <laughs> when I punish you, that's the time you will know that I am God. 
et tout un ennemi, tout un intolérant et son frère. Vous avez des gens comme Alain. Vous avez des gens comme Bac Alain. Il tourne d'air, ton histoire. Il tourne d'air, le bon chef. Then we know that there is a way we stood against God. When we take the place of God, we stand against Him in many ways and in many forms. We have stand against God in many ways and in many forms. Somebody clap your hand for Jesus. At times we can stop God speaking to us. That is one of the ways. When we reject the word of God, when we disobey the word of God, when we frown up at what God says, and we do what we want to do, we have challenged God. We are taking the positions of King Abigailism. Mm -hmm. You come to church, you sit down, the pastor is preaching just because the pastor preached about your sin. That you are involved in is thrown out that passion. You walk out from the presence of that passion, that minister of the gospel. You cross that man of God. You break your hands against it. You want to challenge God. You rebel against God. Because somebody has told you the truth. Like Sarah. Sarah, mm -hmm. when John told him the truth, he ordered that John head should be cut off. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And he then only came to kill John by cutting his head. Mm -hmm. Some of us cannot let the truth. When the truth is speaking into our lives, mm -hmm. we can hate the very person that tells us the truth. Mm -hmm. I have gone into marriage solutions to, rest, to solve problems in marriages. Whenever I, I open my mouth to speak the truth, mm -hmm. I have had people bringing tradition, culture. We are here, it's a truth. The Bible said, only the truth can set us free. Mm -hmm. No tradition can set us free. Mm -hmm. No culture can set us free. Mm -hmm. Only the truth can set man free. Mm -hmm. So we challenge God. When the truth is spoken, when people tell us the truth, we see bad just because people have exposed our life, our behavior, our sin, our wicked things. So we stand against those people. Hallelujah. We have envy minds for these people. Mm -hmm. We have jealous minds for these people. Mm -hmm. We have hatred minds for these people. Mm -hmm. And we even pray that these people should die. Oh, yes. Amen. 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 We would like to persecute anyone that we want to stand for the truth. Anyone that wants to stand for the truth, we want to punish him. We will not recognize those children, for we will think we are more than God himself, or more important than God himself. Amen. Amen. We will not recognize those children. We will not recognize those children. When the children of God are speaking to us, we make them hot. We make them feel bad. We reject and disregard them. We bring shame on them. These are the ways we can stand against God, just like King Nebuchadnezzar. In Proverbs chapter 16, verse 18, it says that pride goes before destruction and the heart of spirit before the fall. If a person is too ignorant or arrogant, he or she will make himself to fall. Mm -hmm. Anytime you are arrogant, mm -hmm. you know how the person is? People that cannot receive advice. People that cannot take correction. People that do not want to review. When they are doing something, even bad thing, you must praise them. When they are doing any bad thing, you must continue to walk them. You should not rebuke them. Arrogant lives, stubborn. They don't listen to advice. They don't listen to instructions. 
They don't want you to correct them. Arrogant people thought a proud person will be condemned in hell and a humble person will be rewarded in heaven. Everybody that is proud, your condemnation is in hell. Your condemnation is in hell. But a humble person has a reward in heaven. Because you have to be humble before you can listen to God's word. You have to humble yourself before God can hear your prayer. Amen. Amen. So if you are proud, you will be condemned in hell. If you don't change and repent of that sin, you will be condemned in hell. But those that are humble, even heaven has reward for those that are humble. Heaven has reward for those that are, that are humble. God will favor those that are humble. God will bring help to those that are submissive. Amen. 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 Anyone that is proud is quick to get in sin. And will be so quick to face punishment. Mm -hmm. If you are proud, you're quick to pass. Mm -hmm. If you are proud, you're quick to frown at people. Mm -hmm. If you are proud, you're quick to steal. Mm -hmm. If you are proud, you're quick to run into sin. Mm -hmm. And when you run into sin, you're quick to get punishment. That is why proud people are always in jail. Mm -hmm. They are always without favor. Mm -hmm. They are always without the help that God has for us. Amen. 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 Somebody go be with me in the book of Proverbs 16.5. Proverbs 16.5. Everyone that is arrogant can think that he will not make mistake. Anyone that is arrogant, he will think that he can't make mistake. So he will not need correction. Because he feels that whatever he does is true. Whatever he does is right. So if people correct her or him, he will feel bad. Everybody that is proud does not need correction. He feels that he can't make mistake. Amen. Amen. And when he makes mistakes, he can be embarrassed. Because if few people are coming to talk to him, which he will not take. Somebody read Proverbs 65. Yes, read. The Lord give the Lord give all the power of the heart. Of the they will not hold God hates all those that have proud spirit in your heart. Some of us we know how to hide pride. We can be cool but we get pomposity in our heart. We can talk. We can talk. But there will be proud spirit in our heart. The Bible said a proud person will not go unpunished. If you are proud, you will never go unpunished. God has a special punishment for proud people. Amen. If God can throw Satan from heaven because of pride, because he challenged God, what about you? You will not go unpunished. So if you are here and that spirit has been lingering into your heart, and that spirit has been so much into your heart, consider this to repent of your sin. Because the punishment that God has for the pride, for those that are proud, is too dangerous. Amen. Amen. In Proverbs 16, 16 to 17, the Bible said there are six things which God hates. Yes, even seven which are an abomination to him. A party heart. Anybody that takes himself and put himself high. That's a party heart. Eh? Mm -hmm. You always speak. You always see other people nothing. You always see the voice of other people as animal voice. Haughty eyes. Haughty eyes mean high head. Self-exaltation. Self-importance. 
importance. Self knowing. You know too much. You don't want anybody to correct you. You can accept people's instructions. Self knowing. Self exhortation. You want to be bigger than everybody. Pride in the mind of someone produces haughty hearts. People that take themselves too high up. You can see some people when you are making conflict with them. You see them, they will start getting talk, even if they are sharp, right? Mm -hmm. You will see them, they will start making themselves as if they are, they want to box. Hurting eyes. They will, they will shut up themselves. Oh gosh. At that time, you can't tell him anything to do, he will do it. At that time, you if you rebuke him, the more you rebuke him, the more you get set up. Naughty mm -hmm. eyes. Ah. Pride in self is self exaltation. When you exalt yourself above people, above things, above everything, that is pride. Ah. Pride always stands against God. When you are proud, you always stand against God. Anyone that is proud, we always stand against the truth. We always stand against instructions. We always stand against correction. We always stand against advice. Pride is the second determination to steal the honor due for others. The honor that is supposed to be for others, you want to take it for yourself. That's pride. You don't consider anybody that big for you. Nobody big for you. Nobody smaller than for you. You don't, call, you don't respect older people. Mm -hmm. You don't respect anybody, even if the person is a pastor, mm -hmm. even if the person is a bishop, even if the person is your elder brother, mm -hmm. is your uncle, is your father, you don't respect them. Yeah. Pride. Yeah. I have met children insulting their fathers. Yeah. Children insulting their words, they will push their fathers. No respect for their fathers. No regard for their fathers. I met children, they will prepare food in the presence of their fathers and they will eat it, they will not even call them let us eat. Pride! Yeah. There's a pride spirit. You will come down. If you have this type of spirit in you, you are not a friend of God. You are an enemy to God. Amen. Yeah. Whenever we have Christ spirit in us, we don't consider people. We don't have passion for people. We don't get humanitarian feeling. People will be crying and suffering around us. We don't get time for them. People will be sick around us. We don't have time for them.
then comes his honor. With the humble is wisdom. Anytime you pride, you have pride in your mind, people don't regard you. Anywhere you go, you get pride with people. You will never get favor with people. Where people can pass easily, mm -hmm. when you pass there, are problem. Mm -hmm. yeah. That is why so many people are renting every year new house. Because they are most. When they are ready to talk, other people go away from them. Right? When you enjoy your life, you don't have regard, you don't have respect, you don't have peace and favor. No symbol. If other people can get help, you will not have them. The moment they know that you, you have a spirit of pride inside you, nobody will help you. Because people will be afraid of you that when I have this man, when he go up, he will kind of step on my head. Young people, if you want to succeed in this world, mm -hmm. be submissive. Ah. Be obedient to everyone. Be obedient to people you don't know. There are children in this town. They have become ministers. They have become ambassadors. They have become vice president. They have become, they are now in big, big position. It's not because of the book they wrote. They're not because they go to school, but because they were submissive to people they were living with. They submit themselves. And right when you are working in every company, your leader that is there, obey that person, be submissive to that person. Mm -hmm. yeah. Jesus even told us that we should be submissive to those that are in authority. Mm -hmm. Be submissive. That's the reason why. The judge cannot be allowed to go and protest against any president. We don't protest against president. We don't stand against authority. God did not give us that will. God did not give us that power. Somebody clap your hand for Jesus. When people are too proud, when they even come to church, when you tell them to clap, they don't clap. When you tell them to stand up, they don't stand. Some of us get what? When you tell them, say, you're sleeping, stop sleeping, baby. That is us. When you even tell them, say, that place that you're sitting down, don't sit down there, go to that place, they will disturb their mind. Frank spirit. That's a bad spirit. They want to be important. They want nobody to talk on them. They want to talk on people. Amen. 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 When you correct on the problem, like the way this photo is here, pastors are here. I remember one day, I rebuked my, my brother, my old father. Amen. Amen. Father, I rebuke him. If there are some people, you can try it, right? Mm -hmm. I want you, then you can talk to me, the other than you want for me. <laughs> but no matter when Papa is speaking to me, he said, You are the Father in the Lord for me. In the Lord, you are Father to me. Not because I'm funny. Mm -hmm. Not because I'm older than him. His first son, in fact, is older than me. Amen. Amen. Yeah. But you know, when you have the spirit of God living inside you, you can be submissive to anybody. Yeah. When the spirit of the Lord is living inside you, you can consider anybody important. You will always take yourself less important. When the power of God is moving inside you, it's not shouting. It's obedience. 
And all about God, let me tell you something. All about God is about obedience. Amen. Those who obey God can live the holy life. As you obey God, you can live the holy life. As you obey God, you can be available to work for Him. As you obey God, the Spirit of God can set down inside you. Amen. Let us look at what happened to King Adidas. This king had a dream, and the dream was the Holy One said the tree that is planted and the tree is so tall that everywhere around the world people can see. All the animals around the world come on the to eat. All the bears of the world sit down on it and lodge and separate. The Holy One said, cut down the tree. Amen. Amen. In chapter 4, he said, cut down the tree. The king was confused. The king said, I'm confused about this. About this dream. I dreamed last night. I saw a big tree. And this tree, everywhere around the world, people will see it. Yeah. Animals will become honored for shape. Birds will sit down on top of it for food. People around the world come honor it. It is a big tree called an oak tree in the world. But I heard somebody. He said he is a holy one. He came and said, cut down the tree. Amen. 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 Cut the tree down. Let the tree be, be, be only a stone dash. And let the rain water the tree. In Africa, I woke up in the morning. And he called on people doing public history. Nobody was doing public history. <laughs> they called Daniel. And Daniel came to him and told him, King, mm, may you live forever. Mm -hmm. And that's supposed to be telling history. This dream is critical. This dream, I'm not expecting it to be. The dream that I need it to be. Yeah. And he said, Daniel, Daniel, mm -hmm. if I be Daniel, mm -hmm. Daniel said, King, you have taken yourself to be above God. Mm -hmm. You have direct God. Proud spirit has entered your life. So mm -hmm. God is saying, Your kingdom is coming to an end. Yeah. And God is saying, he will drive you out from the town. Mm -hmm. And you will live among animals for seven good years. Yeah. You will eat grass like animals. Mm. That morning or the morning, King Nebuchadnezzar woke up from his sleep. And he was walking in his palace. And he was praising himself. Mm -hmm. How he built Babylon. Mm -hmm. How he built the streets. Mm -hmm. How he built the marshal. I was so powerful. I was more than God. And the voice of the Lord came to King of Ebenezer. He said, you challenge me. I have changed your mind. You are not a human being in your mind anymore. Yeah. I turn your mind to be an animal mind. Yeah. Amen. Amen. Yeah. Proud people. God has a special punishment. From that day, he walked out of his path and he went into the bush for seven good years. Rain was spreading over him. For seven good years, his fingers, they were tall as animals' fingers. His hair grew upon him. He turned to an animal that he could not walk like human beings on his feet anymore. He bent down before God and he walked like an animal in a bush for seven good years. Yeah. Amen. Yeah. God said he would never touch an animal and he will 
will be exposed to the rain and to the dew of heavens. The king has turned to an animal. He has lost his power. He has lost his strength. He has lost his favor. He has lost his honor. He has lost his ability. He has lost his power. He has lost his wisdom. When we disobey God and we are proud, God takes away his honor, his regard, his wisdom, his favor upon our heads. Yeah. God take it away from us. I don't care who you are. You can even find ministries. Don't make yourself important than any other person. You can get a letter scar in this world. It's nothing. You can get a letter's education in this world. It's nothing. You are just a human being like your fellow friends. I don't care which house you are living in. When you die, you will go under the ground. We all breathe the same breath. We all take in the same air and take out the same air. Why must you be proud? Why must you be pompous? Is it because of the things that you meet in this world? Or you want to take yourself out of God? The fulfillment of this dream came as a word. As words we are still in the mouth of the king. Praising himself. After praising himself of all that he did in his own power, the Lamb said he was driven in the bush to live as a wild animal among other animals for seven good years. Amen. Amen. Amen, children of God. If you are here, you are proud. What then can you do? The best thing anyone. That is what can do is this. Repent of your pride. Yeah. Repent of pride. Repent of promise. Yeah. That spirit that is inside you. Take it away from your heart. Yeah. Get it today. Get away from my heart. Take yeah. on the humble spirit. As the spirit of promise. To be out from your mind. Pray that the spirit of promise be out from your mind. Say, I don't want to be proud. I want to be humble. I want to be gentle. The Bible told me in Ephesians chapter 5, verse 21 to 22, be submissive to one another in the fear of God. Be submissive to one another in the fear of God. Don't consider yourself more important than. Amen. Don't consider yourself more important than Eli. Mm -hmm. That is why I love to practice what we call simplicity. Be simple. Mm -hmm. I have a brother here called simple. Mm -hmm. Be simple. Be submissive to people, to everybody. Be submissive to even the blind people. Be submissive to people. Mm -hmm. Be submissive. But just the spirit of humbleness. I don't like to praise people. Normally, sometimes when I praise people, people can they can consider that and they can start acting worse. Mm -hmm. But I pray that this person I'm going to praise. Nothing should not enter her mind. To be washed. Amen. 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 That's a priest, Sarah. Hallelujah. Even that, I will have said, Sarah, she has a problem with it. Amen. Amen. Sit down. Hallelujah. The reason I love this girl, she attended this school. Since she started attending, no day in any challenge, any teacher in school. She may have all her habit. I don't know. That one I cannot call. But for you to speak and then say we speak, that should be the dream. That's never happened in my years. Amen. Amen. 
Amen. Amen. She is speaking of if there are some women, some girls. Whenever this girl is late, she was looking more than many girls, more than, more than many children. Here. And I want to show you the secret that she understands me until you want to know. More than even my children, she understands me more than even my own children I have now. Amen. 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 This last time when she was dead, she got a vex. When she came, she would go behind the house. She not going home. She would stay behind the house for some time. And after some time, she would appear. And in my talking to her, there is no need she had dead bodies. To one Don't make yourself more important than anyone. You are a leader in the choir. It does not make you to be a most important more than anybody. You are a pastor of a church. It does not make you to be important than anybody. Jesus said, be submissive to one another. I will give you a parable. Mm -hmm. My father taught me. I like to remember this man. He's old, but I like to remember him. He said, in your whole world, there were only two goats living in this world. Two goats. The, the male goat and the female goat. But they were not living in the same place. Amen, somebody. Yeah. They were not living in the same place. The other one lived across the sea. And the other one lived on the other side of the sea. And any time they want to meet, the other one had to cross. So that they will meet to the other side of the sea. And on the bridge that they have to cross, the other one stick, only one stick to cross. This day, the two boats, they all thought the same thing to This one said, let me go speak to my friend. And the other one said, let me also go speak to my friend. And they wake up at the same time. And they climb on top of this bridge and they start to walk until they reach at the same time. Before they saw each other. I'm going to you. I said that to you, I'm going to. But if you know that we can go to you always, why you can be I said, I'll get you off. Let me go to you before you can visit me once. You know, God cannot walk back, right? Mm -hmm. If they try it, they will fall out. <laughs> so the mother go to the house. The mother go. And she said, you know what we're going to do so that we can leave? So that we can have generation inside this world, very good to be? I am going to go down for that myself. On this beach. So that you can step over me and pass. Wow. Mm -hmm. Amen. 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 And the other one step over it and pass. She wake up and she went where she was going and she came round and she came to how they did not go back again. Then we have both in this world again. Oh, yeah. Where there is no submission, there is no life. If people cannot submit in your marriage home, if you cannot submit to your husband, there will be no peace. Yeah. Amen. If children cannot submit to their father, mm -hmm. there will be no peace. Mm -hmm. And that's the reason why we lack blessing today in the world. Mm -hmm. Because people have lack submission. Everybody wants to be important. Amen. Amen. Yeah. First 
Samuel chapter 5, verse 6, the Bible says, Humble yourself, therefore, under the mighty hand of God, that He will raise you up. Humble yourself. Bring yourself down. Under the mighty hand of God. And God will raise you up. And God will give you favor. If you want wisdom, humble yourself. If you want favor, humble yourself. If you want promotion, humble yourself. If you want to live long, humble yourself. If you want life, humble yourself. If you want to go to heaven, humble yourself. Children, obey your parents. Servant, obey your leaders. Wives, obey your husbands. If we want our war to be a good war, there must be obedience. There must be respect. Somebody just rise up. As you are rising up, just close your eyes. Close your eyes. We pray your hearts, but God, if you can pray for this message. That we have had. Thank you, Jesus. Say, close your eyes. You hear the authority. Close your eyes. You take it to be informed. When they give you command, Take it to be informed. Close your eyes. Let me just pray. Heavenly Father, we want to thank you once again, Father, for your blessing upon our life today. We thank you, Father, for your mighty upon our life. We thank you for peace, what the world cannot give for. We thank you, Lord, for the preaching of your word, Father, from your servant, which you prepare today, Lord Jesus, to bring your message unto Lord. Lord, we submit ourselves. Lord, help our Lord to submit of your submit star, Lord, into your word. As we listen to it, Lord, Lord, that we not reject, Lord, that we not even speak or evil against Father, the choosing one of you. Because you choose him, Father. So, Lord, thank you for your word I will listen to. May it be a blessing upon our life, Father, for today that we are choosing. Many wanted to listen to your word. For oh Lord, they have been taking away their life from the face of the eye. Lord, it may be our chance. Or it may be all today, Lord. Yeah. Or to listen to your word. It may be the last day to listen to your word. It may be the last time to listen to your word. It may be the last chance I give unto God to listen to your word. Oh Lord, thank you, Lord, for this day that will listen to your word. Lord, we do not know what will happen. Lord Jesus, thank you for your blessing. For the ear that listen, Lord, is our. Lord, have printed upon all. Forgive us, Lord. We are gone all the way of you. Lord, by empowering. Lord, by rude there. By wicked there. By even talking, empowering to our little then. Talking, Lord, rude word against our little then. Lord, pointing them in evil ways. Talking evil against them. Lord, have mercy upon us. Lord Jesus, if we do not obey then, Lord, will you listen to all? Lord, you will not listen to all. Lord, help all. I will be able to obey them. Everything is said unto all, Lord. I will begin to know that they were choosing from you. And so, Lord, thank you for your children that come at your knee this hour again. Lord, help more be blessed. Lord, bless the more of our leader. Bless their children. Bless their wife. Bless their activity. Lord, for this day today, we thank you for the Lord, this wonderful day. To that, Lord, our constant mind, our constant peace, we should not be on 